hello and welcome to the West Island Way. My second attempt at the West Island Way. Did it in six days the last time. Go try and do it in five. But that means some pretty big days. Luckily, it's dry as well. It was raining the whole time that I was driving here. But yeah, it seems to have held off for now. So, got to push on to Dremen. Maybe get some food there. Up Conic Hill, spam my half for a pint onto Saloki campsite where I've got a pitch for tonight. So, yeah, pretty excited about this one. Just doing it by myself as well. So, a bit of a different vibe. So, you're going to have to keep me company. Um, yeah, here we go. This bit's quite flat, so I might get the poles out and just try and burn in those miles. Yeah, excited. That's the first 10 minutes in, into some woods, and oh man, I'm sweating, I'm not used to this, carry on. But it's all the same, first 10, 15 minutes are just brutal, and then you get into your stride, so I'm hoping I'll get better. Ah, it's proper wet now, like, first day soaking, that's how we like to start our walks. Start how you intend to go on, you know, just completely soaked. And that's the rain off again. Well, Scottish off, which means it's still a bit wet, but doable. Back on again. So far, I've met people going to Dremen tonight. And then I've got the guys going to the bottom of Conic Hill. And I'm going all the way to Saloki campsite, which is probably nearly 30 miles. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so unfit for this. Oh, I better make it, honestly. Like, I don't know where else I'll go if I don't make it. Maybe I'll be on Conic Hill somewhere. Oh man, it's hard work. But, it's worth it though, isn't it? Get this place. This isn't even far outside my guy, really. It's just lovely. Yeah, so I think the last sign I passed was for so about eight miles to Drimmon. So what, do that in like three hours? Something like that. Still quite early, so yeah, I'll stop at Drimmon, get some lunch and just blast up Conic Hill that you've never seen before. Keep walking. Yeah, too right. Sounds like a bit of a threat though. You just keep walking, pal. It's so cool though. Very important. Yeah, look at this place. Oh, Christ. Oh, well, guy was only four miles, Fort William 92. How can it only be four? Doesn't make any sense. Possibly the most dangerous part of the West Island Way. Quite important to note when you come to the main road, you follow a sign that goes to your left, unless you're going to get food and accommodation. You walk down the road for what seems like probably too long, you think you're going to go the wrong way, but you're not, and then you'll eventually see this sign here that will get you back on the footpath and off the road. Can I join you? Oh, I saw me calves, I didn't even notice. And they're just lovely, delicious. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hashtag vegan. Stretches. Just probably stop and do some stretching as well. Good call. Hmm. I seem to have come over with a tremendous thirst for some reason. Maybe another time. This gate. Pretty decent effort for that latch and lock page on Instagram. If you push, gate open, and it shuts with a counterweight. It's a lot of things. I didn't notice this the first time. It's a creepy wee bridge. That's nasty. 
I think we've got a couple more miles to Dremen. Maybe only one actually. Currently under a tree because the heavens have truly opened up and it's like a monsoon. The weather forecast said it would be some showers today, sunny intervals. Look at it, just bouncing off the road. So I'm just outside Dremen, need to get something to eat in there. I might have to go into a pub to try and dry off or something, but yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely soaked. First day, day one. Aye, so because I'm a proper idiot, I walked past Dremen because the path doesn't really go through Dremen. You've got to cut back on yourself a little bit. I only realised when I'd walked for about five minutes, like past it, and I was like, fuck guys, I'm not turning around. <laughs> And what's worse is I did the exact same thing the last time, but I did turn around that time because I was really hungry. Whereas today, I actually feel okay. I want to just keep going when it's like not as wet and I still got some energy, so I'm just gonna push on. Yeah, I've got some stuff I can eat in my bag and got plenty of water and stuff as well, so it's fine. I'm such an idiot though. How can I do that twice? <laughs> so I am here. Gotta walk along a wee bit. See if I want to go up Conic Hill, 361 metres or go the low route. I kind of want to go up the hill to be honest. But then I've got to go all the way to Salaki. That's quite far. Jesus, I didn't realise it was so close to our down. I'm like... Dry men. Wet men. Um, but yeah, this is the decision point. As you can see up there, Balmaha via Conic Hill, three and three quarter miles. Balmaha not taking the Conic Hill route is two and a half miles. And it is still quite wet, but I want to go up Conic Hill because I did the last time, so um, I feel like I have to do it. Insert footage of the last time I was up Conic Hill now. Only joking, here we go. Go on then, let's go. Get my bag on, let's do this. So you can see more Conic Hill now. The path kind of goes round the side, swiggles about a bit, I don't know if you can see in the distance, some, some people walking up. And yeah, it's not as big as it looks. So yeah, let's go up there, come on, let's go. Here we are then, the top of Conic Hill. Well, not quite the top. The path doesn't go quite up to the top, but this will do for me. Yeah, even on a rainy day, the views are pretty good. Loch Lomond is just beautiful. So yeah. That last bit was like steep, it's real, you know, it gets the heart rate going. But yeah, it doesn't take long. Now you just gotta head back down, down towards Balmaha and find some food. Starving, man, honestly. <sighs> Look at all the boats down there. Beautiful. That was an absolutely brutal descent, going down like stairs. For ages, but it's really quick, you know, you get down fast, but it's like doof, 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 doof on your knees the whole time. Yeah, not good. But then you come into this absolutely amazing forest. Look at the trees. So yeah, it's not too far, about 10 minutes down apparently, to the car park and that's me in Balmaha. Get some food in me, I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, out of breath. So I've just been fed and watered at the Oak Tree Inn in Balmaha, fed and watered, fed and beard, um, and then straight back into it again. And it's hard work getting back into it. It's steep coming out of Balmaha, and you go into straight into this kind of stuff. And Loch Lomond side, where you're just kind of zigzagging your way through the woods. It really zaps the energy out of you, up and down constantly. If you looked at it on a map, like it probably wouldn't look that bad, or even like an altitude map. It'd look pretty flat, but if you were to zoom in and see in fine detail, it's constantly going up and down. Um, and it's a killer. You're lucky if you get, you're lucky to get two miles, two miles per hour walking through this stuff. And it's quite hot, but I think it's four miles to my campsite. So I'm expecting two hours plus, to be honest. Um, but look at these views. Okay, might bring you back for some other views, but 
other than that, it could just be back at the campsite when I get there. Ah, feeling positive though. Ah, let's go! For as brutal as walking long Loch Lomond is, it's totally worth it for places like this. These little bays, little islands, people on yachts, people paddleboarding, fishing. <laughs> What a place, man. Um, so I'm not far away from um, Salaki now, I don't think. Um, but my feet are just so hot. I thought I'd get them out for a little bit. There you go. Take a look at that. I've been an idiot and not had them out all day. Usually I'll try and get them out when, I'm, when it's wet like this, like maybe every two hours, just to like try and dry off a little bit. But there's not really been many places to get a shelter. So this has been like the best spot in a while, so yeah. Just gonna take it in here for a little bit and then do the last I think 20 minutes at most to the to the campsite. Um but yeah what a day it's been so far. Can't believe I've got so far. I I seen a sign, like I'm I'm not even far away from Rower Denning. It took us two days to get to Rower Denning last time. So yeah. And it's been wet, so no, it's been it's been really, really good. And there you go, that's my view. Right, check back into the campsite. Here it is. My pitch for tonight. Lock side. Ah, it's pretty decent. Private beach and everything. Wow. Right, get a tent up and get the midge out because there's no wind at all. And I can feel them biting already. So, yeah, here we go. Hello. I've changed the appearance, but I've got a tent up. And there's like no wind, so that was a breeze. Excuse the pun. Didn't actually mean that. Um, yeah, so this is my setup. Nature hike, Cloud Peak 2. And I put up my Thermarest inflatable mat and my Van Gogh sleeping bag and Trekology pillow. So I've kind of got it like on a bit of a hill going down the way, um, not at an angle, usually the best way. And now I'm going to maybe put my feet in the water and start making food. Tonight's meal of choice is a minced beef hot pot from Adventure Food. And I'm telling you, it's not too bad actually. I'm going to eat it like this. <laughs> like some kind of Batman or a burglar, I don't know. It's, it's quite sad. <laughs> oh well, still enjoying it. I've made a wee friend apparently. See, Robin's come along just sat right beside me. I feel like he'd reach out and touch me. Right. He's just there. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Too loud. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> I think it's because I've got the best bit of shelter from the rain. So he's come down to say hi. I couldn't help myself, so I'm in for a bit of a paddle. If you see, <laughs> I'm obviously not brave enough to go in for a swim, and people die doing that. So, yeah, just cooling off my feet. It's great. Now go back up to the Can you hear that? That's the rain on like pretty full on now. Um, so I'm back in the tent, it's about 8 o'clock. So I'll probably just call it a day. Get some get some sleep, rest my legs, because my one of my calf muscles is actually really sore and my feet have been better. So yeah, it's probably a good thing just to chill out and just lie down and get ready for tomorrow because it's gonna be another big day. Peace out. Good night.